My name is Rachel Buchanan. A little over a year ago, I donned a mask and became a crime fighting champion. Do I really have to do this? I think this whole narrated opening thing is kind of cliche and they do it in every single TV show about superheroes ever. Yeah, that, that's what we're going with. Why do we have to spoon feed the audience the storyline? I think it's kind of insulting. I mean, it insults me. Because it, it works. That's what we're doing. Just go with it. Fine. After I saved the mayor's life, I became more of a public figure. More of a celebrity. And it's pretty great. My parents are having some issues. They're kind of in a rough patch, but I think things are going to work out. And I'm also having a rough patch with my best friend, Connie. It's been kind of tough ever since I started the superhero life, but I think she'll come to an understanding. Now sit back, stay tuned, and watch as Party Girl's story, my story, continues. I am loving what I see here, Bronx. Looks like my father's finally gaining traction against that new kid that's trying to unseat him. People are gonna see that newer doesn't necessarily mean better. My father's gonna get the votes he finally deserves. Looks like we are gaining in precincts 102, 104, and 105. Mm. Those are the voters from that mega church over the north side of the city. That pastor you paid a visit to? Mm-hmm. It looks like he got the message on where he should couch his support. It took a while, but it sunk in. Hello? In here, Dad. We were just talking about our newest phone numbers. Things are looking great. Well, thanks to you. Working with you these last few months, things are looking up like never before. People aren't laughing at my re-election campaign. They're actually listening to my ideas. It's great. People I never thought would be on my side have jumped aboard the Rose Rocket. That is a testament to your knowledge and experience. I agree. Though my opponent is no slouch, and with incumbents being hated as worse than ever before, I can't afford to rest on my laurels. We will not let that happen. We are going to keep on grinding. I hate to burden you with running my re-election campaign, Whitney. Oh, no, no, it's no burden, Dad. It gives me a chance to get to know you and spend time with you. I agree. Speaking of operations, I thought I might benefit from joining forces with another man. A another man? Mayor Horn. He is also up for re-election this year, and he is also facing competition from a young, fresh-faced challenger who people are really starting to rally behind. Well, we're going to have to talk to him to see where his head is. He's appearing at this uh, charity event. I figured we could speak with him there. The main attraction is Party Girl. Is there Party Girl? Yeah, uh, you know, the local self-titled crime fight. Yeah, I know who she is. Why is she going to be there? Well, since Party Girl saved the mayor from that bookworm kid at graduation last year, the mayor has latched on to Party Girl like a tick on a hog. People love Party Girl, especially young people, the demographic I need. I am not sure that we should back anyone that backs Party Girl. It's just something to think about. We cannot afford to leave any campaign in stone unturned. Sure, Dad. Great! Let's get on over there. I'd like to speak with them before the events get started. Fair enough to say it's a good thing your father doesn't know about your background or your connection to Party Girl. I should have killed her months ago. 
I don't think she'll be a problem. From what I hear, she isn't much in the crime-fighting business anymore. I don't care if that's true or not. She meddled in my operations and cost me money. For that, she cannot and will not be forgiven. Rachel, where are you heading, kiddo? I'm just going out with some friends, Dad. Oh, I was hoping we could go out and grab a bite to eat. And then maybe... Go to that favorite pizza place you like. I'd love to, but I kind of promised someone I'd go hang out with them. <laughs> Where's mom? You guys could go and bring me back like a couple slices or something? Well, she's at the beauty salon or something like that. I, I don't know. You guys didn't make plans for after? I tried, but she said she was going to be too tired, so I guess getting beautiful takes a lot out of you. <laughs> I thought you guys were working through things. Well, we, we, we are. It's, it's fine. Okay, um, everything's gonna be fine, Dad. Don't fret, but if I don't go, I'm gonna be late. So, uh, okay, <laughs> I guess I'll see you later. Things are going to be just great. <sighs> that sucks to be me today. I applied for jobs, but it's not my fault I don't get them. I, I worked at the last job for 20 years, and all of a sudden they don't need me? It's not my fault. And then this guy, the mayor, everybody's not prospering. Well, I'm not prospering. It's not my fault. The time like this is when we need your help, but you're not there. Well, today, that changes. My wife, she's not coming back, but it's not my fault. Not my fault. But today, all of that changes. A political fundraiser? Really? I could be at home watching games right now, or studying the PCU playbook. This writing the bench stuff just isn't for me. I need to show the coaches that I'm worth more than that. You're breathing football day in, day out. You need a break, son. And besides, I thought you wanted to spend some time with your old man. I do, but this isn't my idea of spending time together. This is like work for you. <laughs> exactly. Mayor Horn and I are friends from way back. And I need to show some support for him, so in turn, he'll show some support for me and my department. Boring. Oh, you get over it. Oh, hey, uh, lose the hat. So, Senator, you think an alliance would help our prospective causes? Why not? With you on the local front, me on the state front, we can do great things. And what I can do for you is I can encourage my supporters who live in your district to cast their votes in your direction. We both stand to benefit from this deal, Bradley. You know who and what we are both up against. Mm. Why not team up? We mop up the floor with our competition and then we get back to the business of the people, of course. Well, of course. It does sound doable. Cynthia, would you make sure we have the most current information from our good senator here? Why, there's Miss Baker. Miss Baker. You are doing yourself quite a service teaming up with Mayor Horn. What, was it Cynthia? Yes. That right there is my personal cell phone number. Call it any time, day or oh, night. Oh, Jeffrey. Julie Chambers. You know, how did that go in there? As do I. Oh. Well, I've been noticing the people you're surrounding yourself with lately and the positive strides you've been making. It's amazing what you can do with people who believe in you. Unlike you, Senator. Oh, Jeffrey, you know how it is out there? 
how quickly the winds can change. Yeah, the winds can blow me, blow you on out of here. I don't need you now. Not after you turned me down and insulted me before. Oh, oh Jeffrey, I was What's just that? Trying... I can't hear you over all the money my campaign is bringing in. Woman of the year, party girl. I am so proud you've made it. Uh, thank you for the invite, Mayor Orr. Will you call me Bradley and there's no thanks needed? Why, you're an important part of Pyramid City. Why, you're a role model to the youth. The voting youth of today. Party girl. My name is Jeffrey, uh, <clears throat> Senator Jeffrey Rose. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. There are some things we need to discuss that would be of great benefit to both of us. I'd be all for that. Oh, good, good, good. We'll need to set something up with my campaign manager. Mm -hmm. Oh, there she is. Party girl. This is my daughter, Whitney Rose. Daughter? P.T., you're looking a little flushed. Are you all right, darling? Yeah, I, th I think I just need some water. We never did finish our business. Funny. You didn't know we had business. Indeed. Dr. Wallace, Delilah, you didn't think I'd let you off the hook that easily, did you? If you even think about touching me, I will scream bloody murder. As if I would lay hands on you in a public place such as this. Besides, I don't need to get my hands dirty. I have people that will do that for me, people you will meet Here? This is definitely not what I signed up for. I messed up one of her schemes. I wish she has a bunch of them going on. Why is she getting so bent out of shape over one simple scheme? Okay, you got this. You got this. Like she said, she wouldn't try anything in such a public place like this. You're good. And even if you weren't, you're party girl. Yeah, that's the stuff. Hey, Michelle, it's your dad. Oh, right, Dad, I, I recognized the phone number. Oh, right, of course you did. Now, how's work? You write about anything interesting lately? Um, just a couple bake sales and a pedestrian motor vehicle accident. Yeah, that's great. Sounds like real front page material. So listen, I was thinking of making a dash over there to see you. Here? Angel City? Uh, that's not exactly a dash, Dad. It is to me when I haven't seen you in so long, I... Dad, it's been like a month. I know, Michelle. Are... are you okay? How's Mom and Rachel? Uh, y your mom's good, your sister's good. Yeah, every everyone's good. Good. I'm glad. <laughs> oh, Dad, um, somebody's at my door. I need to go. Um, okay. I... I guess I'll talk to you another time. Okay. I love you. Bye. Hello? Uh, yes? Are you interested 
documented in the story of the century. Do you know how many times a week a reporter gets a call like this? All right, you need to try a little harder. And if I told you I had knowledge about Senator Jeffrey Rose and his connections to underworld criminal activity in Pyramid City, would that be trying hard enough? I suggest you keep this phone close to your side. Watch it! Oh, party girl? It's me. My bad. Um, that's on me. I wasn't paying attention where I was going. Uh, I get so caught up studying the playbook. I'm quarterback for the PCU Stallions now. It's snifty. Yeah, I mean, I'm not starting yet, but I will be. I was the guy at Hell High, and that's going to continue here. So, um, I didn't get to thank you for saving our butts back at graduation. Well, you know, it's kind of what we hear us do. Well, I don't know if you noticed, but I kind of saved you too. I got some good licks in on that crazy bookworm. Good for you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta get in. What's your problem? Back up. You know what's good for you. What are you doing? It should have been done a long time ago. Now stay back unless you want to get blown to hell with everyone in here. Okay, okay, take it easy. Is, is that what I think it was? I'm pretty sure it was. Hi there, Bradley Horn. I know who you are. You and your kind. Politicians. Fat cats. Living large, yet doing little. The people put you in to represent them and use the people to line your pockets. Listen, sir, if you think my office has done something to you, I assure you this is not the best way to voice this. I have another way to voice. I'm not voicing anything, because I have another way to get my message across. Is that a bomb? No one goes anywhere where I'll set this thing off and everyone decorates the walls of this building. Now, if everyone would please take a seat. You don't want to do that, I can assure you. Hmm. I've seen you in this place before. He's a, a representative. Senator. Senator Jeffrey Rose, he's my father. Oh, well you must be so proud. Your father is just another one of them. No, my dad is better than them. You should consider voting for him. I don't vote. Then you have nothing to complain about. Oh, I have plenty. It's all in here. My job problems, marriage, everything wrong in my life is a fault of men like these. A cassette tape. Seriously. Don't, don't laugh at me. <laughs> but we're supposed to take you seriously? <laughs> Try to get an offset this off. Isn't there any way that we can work together where no one gets hurt? Not sure you there's not. So when I stop this lunatic? Aren't you the superhero? Will you want to just rush him and have him set up a detonator? Of course not. If I distract him, can you take him out? What? You're about to see why I'm a three-time All-American. Buddy, you're just making this worse on yourself. Think about it. I'm done thinking. Too bad you're going down anyway. Butt out. You can't do that. You don't think I'll do it? You want to try me? They said I was crazy to back party girl. She saved my life again. <laughs> There's some bumps, but overall it's pretty damn great to be me. To be party girl. With my father's campaign ramping up, I'll need to be by his side at all times, which means I will have no time for distractions. Like party girl. Like I said, she's not much into heroics these days. Mainly publicity. I don't think we should worry about her at all. I know how you are, so... What do you plan on doing? How are you going to handle her?
to play.